I want to put this guy in there. Got it. Ah, it's going to pinch me. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. So yeah, we are at the St. Louis Reptile Expo. It's my first time vending. It's going really good. It, it suddenly like got really busy and then now I finally have like a calm to film, so. Um, excuse me, he's stealing. <laughs> okay, so I have been a little swarmed and I'm finally able to film my table. I tried to be really legit with it, you guys. Oh, I forgot to tell people, if you bought one of these, there's a protective cover on it, so peel it off. I totally forgot to tell people that. So cute, the new moon maple design, I'm obsessed. And then I have just like the little button pens as well. So many. I have a Mr. Tarantula cat. And then here's what's left of the babies. Oh my God, everybody came and bought some so quickly. I really didn't think that that many people would grab some, but that's awesome. I brought a couple of docs with me just to, you know, show people what they look like as adults. So I have two of them with me. Yeah, and then there's tarantula cribs right next to me. How's it going? I'm gonna put fingerprints all over every single enclosure. Show me your wares. What? Oh my god, you did a whole little educational display. Check this out. Book lungs. I don't know how to say that. Ep Epigastric furrow. Epigastric furrow. Slit scintilla? Yep, those are, they just help you find the middle. They're up here and they are angled in. So it helps you find the middle on a small specimen when you're trying to focus in on that area and find it. my close-up. It sure is. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is Trotoscontia chrysofolia baby bunny bellies. Oh my god, I love that name. I know, I make sure to include baby bunny bellies because it sounds cute. I know. <laughs> this one is blue pathos? Yeah, same Oh my blue god, pathos. that's so cool. And then Monstera sulfacana and then Trotoscontia zebrina silver pulse. <laughs> How are you? It's a black widow, Western black widow. I know, it's horrible when people take you out. Hey, it's our reunion show. It was eight years ago, he gave me a free tarantula oh. and that started my whole thing. He just gave me a free tarantula. Well, oh, did he really? I, I actually just took it. Oh, <laughs> that's called stealing. <laughs> Do you guys remember him? Yes, R.E.S. Moore. He's telling me that I won't have to suck his throw, poop throw that away. anymore with my poop turkey baster. <laughs> Show me the meanest one first. Oh my god, he's so cute. These guys get really big. These are 18 inch turtles here. And these are the giant Mexican musk. Focus, focus, focus. Lights off. No, it works. Oh, it got nervous. Oh, it's so cute, it's little eyes. Doesn't sound that interesting. We were talking about praying mantises. How's the day been going? It's been going. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. I love seeing all the people here. A lot of familiar faces, so that's really fun. Wow, what a great <laughs> review. <laughs> How's it going? Hi. Uh, Do you have any geckos you can show me? Not too many left. We have morning geckos. We have a lychee. I like going to the botanical gardens because they have those running around. Oh my goodness. We sold out of jumping spider babies, which is crazy. Thank you, everybody who stop by to say hi today. I did grab a few things, but I'll show you what I picked up when we get back home. 
Okay, we are back at home. It is actually two days later. Yesterday, I got like completely sucked into making this aquarium, which I will show you guys in a minute. But before I do that, I wanna show you my pickups because one of them is why I had to set up the aquarium. So yes, I actually did pick up a new tarantula. I wasn't planning on it, but I did see this on spider collector's table and I never had one before, so I wanted to get that. First, let me show you the not alive things I got. So starting off strong with some plants, from J&B Terrariums. They gifted me some plants and I can use these in terrariums and stuff. It is getting warmer outside so I have actually moved a lot of my plants outside. This is the one I'm most excited about. It's a blue pothos. I've actually never heard of that. Awesome. So yeah, I have all these plant cuttings that I can use in enclosures and I do actually have some rehousings I wanna do, so that's perfect. They also gave me this adorable little snail on a log sculpture. It has little mushrooms and leaves and it's very my vibe. So I really appreciate this. It's adorable, I have it on my table. One other not a life thing I purchased. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did recently put this enclosure together in a video and it's like a yellow enclosure everything's yellow and this adorable little sculpture it's a little clay sculpture i purchased it has moss and little crystals and stuff so yeah i put it in there and it hasn't molded or anything so i think it'll be good i really like it okay now for the alive things i said i spent all day yesterday setting up an aquarium that is for this new occupant right down here let me uh bring you guys in a little bit closer don't go too hard on me it has been in this bin for like two days, but that's just because I was setting up the aquarium and getting it to like, you know, cycle a little bit, putting bacteria things in there and you'll see, but okay. My friends, Kanoa and Johnny, the friends who helped me set up Bowser's enclosure, if you will remember, I was really sad that the crawfish they gave me were going to become dinner for Bowser, which they all did. I can bring you more crawfish. Basically, they actually brought me my own little pet crawfish, okay? This is a native species, so you can't like actually go buy one of these. It's not legal to buy one, but you can keep one, especially if it's like a gift from like a private pond or private property like them. Look how pretty this one is. I don't know the name yet. I just actually, hi. Oh, I don't have a name for it yet. Oh my gosh, it's so mad. I'm not trying to make you mad. I j oh God, please don't pinch me. I just want to put you in the... I want to put you in your new your new tank. Oh my god, how do I do this without it like pinching me, you guys? What do I do? It knows what my favorite food is, I'm telling you, it knows. I don't want to like squeeze it too tight either. I'm actually like kind of afraid of it, to be honest. It's a little scary. So actually, as you can see, it pooped. Last night, I put an algae wafer in here, which kind of funked up the water, but I also put a superworm in there. Read that they can eat superworms and stuff, so the superworm is gone. I want to put this guy in there. Got it. Ah, it's gonna pinch me. Oh my God, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Go. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god, this thing looks awesome in here. Welcome. Why Why are there bubbles coming out of his mouth? Yeah, dude, this is an awesome tank. This looks so cool. I hope that it likes it. I hope that it does well. What do you think? We really need to name it something. It's so cute. And it has this whole freaking tank to itself. Hopefully it doesn't eat all the plants. I've got to say though, this is way cooler than I thought it would be. I was like, man, I'm setting this whole tank up for just one crawfish. This is kind of stupid. No, this is awesome. He has a freaking castle. Oh my God, I'm, I am, I am too distracted now. Let's talk about the tarantula I got. So it's just a sling. I picked it up from Spider Collector. It was actually gifted to me and it is called a Phonopelma species Encinos. I've never heard of this. I've never seen it. I have this tiny tarantula cribs cube and yeah, of course I'm an affiliate. Code cat 10 saves you 10% at tarantulacribs.com anytime and it helps me out. But yeah, so let's go ahead and just put it in this little, little cubie. Give it a better fancier home because my tarantulas are a little bougie. They all like to be in their tarantula cribs. I'll just scoop in a little bit of reptis soil. course that that did not make less of a mess at all I have some of this really green moss 
and then I have a fake little leaf. I don't really do synthetic much anymore, but you know what? We're gonna do it today because this is gonna be cute. And then the last little touch is going to be this little green mushroom, of course. I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know you guys. I don't know why. All right, I changed my mind. I'm, I'm gonna do real leaves, I'm gonna do... <laughs> I like that better. It, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not to be picky or anything, but okay. So let's take a look at this. A little tiny Ophonopilma. It is so small. Are you friendly? I hope so, because you are walking on my, my fingers. Imagine getting bit by an Ophonopilma this small. If anybody's going to do it, it might be me, though. Coax it into its new little home. Perfect. Look at you. You got a whole new little home. Very cool. All right, so there we have it. Ah! New Afono Pilma. So that is all I picked up from the show. Thank you so much to everybody who came and said hello. I, oh my God, my hair's falling down. Stop that. We're not done yet. <laughs> Thank you everybody that came by who bought merch, jumping spiders, just hung out for a little bit. Thank you so much. I had a good time. I hope you did too. And for those who weren't able to make it, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I'm in a stream today. probably too much is at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.